Come in. Hi. Thanks for agreeing to meet with me, Eddie. First, I just want to say what a great 10 years I've had at this store. I feel that the whole family-oriented dynamic here at Fredrickson's has been a great influence on my ability to further advance my own personal skills and goals. You yourself have been a second father to me, showing me the greatness inside myself that I, I couldn't have possibly recognized if it wasn't for you. You will have a place in my heart for as long as I live, Eddie. But I've recently gotten an offer in the city where I can pursue my dreams of being a chef. Sure, it might not pay as well as what I'm making here, but I think we both can agree that being able to live your dreams is worth more than any paycheck. Am I right? I, I, I don't know what to say. I understand it's a shock. You don't work here anymore. I know you don't want me to go, but... You were terminated five days ago for viciously assaulting several employees with a pizza cutter while wearing a chef costume with a big Super Mario mustache and yelling, Who wants it a pizza? in a very offensive Italian accent. I just really think that living my dreams is worth more than any paycheck. Am I right? Not when you have several pending lawsuits, Dan. Three people had to go to the hospital for severe lacerations. Marcus used himself as a human shield to protect the customers, and everyone in the store is suffering from extreme trauma after the incident. So, if I can, I'd like to put in my two weeks notice today. I'm gonna try and hang out with all of you during the week before I move. You know what was hanging out? A little bit of Marcus's lower intestine after you slid him open like a pig. Yeah, I talked to the doctor and somehow he'll make a complete physical recovery, but I don't think he'll ever recover from seeing his own innards spill out of him like a burst can of Pillsbury biscuits. Which are on sale here, by the way. Two for two, two for five fifty. The police finally arrived and you just started throwing onions at them from the produce aisle. Your aim was completely off, though, and you were just pelting the EMTs that were trying to load Marcus onto a stretcher. You actually landed a clove of garlic in Marcus's belly hole. The surgeon spent an extra two hours just trying to remove it. I mean, I, I heard garlic is good for stomach aches. Get the fuck out. Understood. Mm -hmm.